Coming up on one minute, mark T minus 60 seconds and counting, we are go. T minus 50 seconds. Coming up on the 40-second mark, T-minus 40 seconds and counting, T-minus 40, all reports look good, all aspects of the mission go, T-minus 30 seconds and counting. Now T-minus 21 seconds and counting. Ready to go. Coming up on the 10 second mark. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition. Commit liftoff. We have liftoff. And welcome to Kids at 11 Online. Uh, today's a special day. Hey George, uh, do you know what day it is today? Uh, is it uh, E Nice to Yonky Day? Um, no, I'm afraid it isn't. Um, although I am always nice to you, aren't I? Oh uh, yeah. Um, have another go. Is it E Hanana Day? Um, well, that's something you do every day, isn't it? Actually, no, that's uh, not really the right answer. Is it so? Hello, how good today? Um, what do you mean? Oh there! Pardon? Oh there! It's Hello Hackgoods! Oh very good and oh there to you! Um, so is that the answer? No I'm afraid not. Meanwhile let's find out what's on Kids at 11 online this week. Well, there's quite a variety in there today, isn't it? Very exciting. Do you think recycling is about recycling jokes? Uh, re uh, mm, uh, yeah, we're quite good at that, aren't we? Recycling old jokes. But now for our first song, and it's How Hard, How Long? Thank you, George. <laughs> how broad, how long? In a They talk about the love of Christ The love that is so great How, Lord, how long, how high, how deep Is the love of Christ How broad, how long Love of Christ and again how broad, how long, how high, how deep is the love of Christ. How broad, how long, how high, how deep is the love of Christ. I am certain that nothing can separate us from His love. I am certain that nothing can separate us from His love. How good, how long, how high, how deep is the love of Christ? How good, how long, how high, how deep is the love of Christ? I am certain that nothing can separate us from His love. I am certain that nothing can separate us from His love. How good, how long, how high, how deep is the love of Christ? I am certain that nothing can separate us from his love. I am certain that nothing. 
Today we have a special guest presenter for your jokes. Classically trained, they will present your jokes as they were meant to be performed. So now here's your jokes. My friend thinks he's smart. He told me an onion is the only food that can make you cry. So I threw a coconut at him. Ha ha ha! In our Bible reading today, Jesus is talking to a Pharisee, a man called Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. Nicodemus had described Jesus as a teacher who had come from God because he said no one could perform the signs that Jesus had been doing if God was not with him. However, because Nicodemus was a member of the Jewish ruling council, he thought it would be prudent not to be seen and visited Jesus at night. So today we're going to be reading from the Gospel of John and from it we will hear today one of the most famous phrases ever said. So, if you're sitting comfortably, then we'll begin. Now, a certain man, a Pharisee named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council, came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the miraculous signs that you do unless God is with him. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stand condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But Whoever lives by truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. And that ends our reading for today. In the scripture today, we heard the phrase lifted up, as in, the Son of Man must be lifted up. What does that mean? Well, the Son of Man is Jesus. And lifted up is a polite way of referring to crucifixion. And Jesus adding the words, just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, which is referring back to the fourth book in the Old Testament of the Bible. And the fourth book of the Old Testament in the Bible is called Numbers. And in it, the people of Israel were attacked by poisonous snakes, snakes as a result of their own disobedience. The people went to Moses for help and Moses consulted with God. 
God instructed Moses to make an image of a snake and mount it on a pole. And anybody that looked at this snake was cured from their bite and lived. Nicodemus was a member of the Jewish ruling council and would easily have recognised the references Jesus was making. So do you think Nicodemus understood what Jesus was saying? Well, I think he did. The Israelites suffered as a result of their own failings and their only hope was to trust in something beyond themselves. And the idea of being healed simply by just looking at a bronze snake actually left no doubt in anyone's mind that it was God's power that was saving them, not their own. And that's what brought healing. In his next words, Jesus makes it clear that history is about to repeat itself, this time for everyone. And these are the most famous words in the Bible. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son, and whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Like the Israelites looking at the snake for healing, all we need to do is have faith in Jesus Christ to be saved. We don't have to work at it. We just need to have faith in Jesus. So let's think about that a while while we play this song. For God so loved the world.
Lennon because he's a genius. He wears jeans. He's a genius. <laughs> hey, Betty, I've got a joke for you. What is it? When is it bad luck to meet a black cat? I don't know. When is it bad luck to meet a black cat? so loved the world he gave his only son and whoever believes in him shall not die but have eternal life now I here I have a just a long strip of paper now what I'm going to ask you to do is later get a dab of glue and just put it on one end and we're going to make a circle with this except just at the moment where you're about to stick it turn that end over and stick it like this and you get this rather interesting circle and it's known as a Mobius strip and if you took a pen or pencil and started here and followed it all the way keeping on the paper without turning over you find that you're on the other side of the paper and you keep following along the paper and you come back to where you started. So you can draw a line it'll just carry on forever and ever and ever and it has no start or end. But what is really amazing you'll find that your line is on both sides of the piece of paper and that's just like God who is everywhere and goes on forever and ever and ever. So on that note let us pray. So what I'm going to ask you to do is put your hands together Close your eyes, I'll say a prayer, and then we'll finish with an Amen at the end. All right, so put your hands together, close your eyes, and I'll say a prayer. Father God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, we thank you that you're always with us, through good times and bad, and that you love us regardless of what we do. Thank you, Jesus. And we all say together, Amen. St. Faith's Church in Leon the Solent, we provide recycling bins for those items that we cannot place in our curbside recycling bins. You know, the ones that are collected by Gospel Borough Council. Now, one of the bins at church is the Chris Packet Recycling Bin. And in this bin you can place all brands of Chris Packets, including the Chris Multi-Pack Out of Packaging. However, I'm afraid this bin is not for popcorn bags, it's not for crisp tubes, it's not for pretzel bags or meat snack bags. I'm really sorry about that. Now, please make sure that your crisp bags are clean and empty. Now, I expect some of you have the skill to fold your crisp packets into lovely neat triangles like this. Or tie them up like this. Um, and although this indicates a very tidy mind, um, please don't place these in our recycling bin like that because for your crisp bags to be recycled they need to be flat. So that's neater for the planet. So if you have any empty crisp packets then please do recycle them and let's make a difference in Lee.
and welcome to Fact Time with my special guest, Pete the Aussie. Hello Pete, how are you today? Good day, Kev. I've never felt better. In fact, I'm fitter than a Mally Bull. You're fitter than a Mally Bull? What does that mean? Sorry, Kev, I'm using a bit of Aussie slang. It means I'm in good physical health. That's good to hear, Pete. Well, Pete, this is fact time, and what is the fact you've got for us today? Well, Kev, today is March the 14th. On March the 14th, 1879, Albert Einstein was born. Now, Albert Einstein is famous for his theory of relativity. The theory of relativity usually encompasses two interrelated theories by Albert Einstein. Special relativity and general relativity. Special relativity applies to all physical phenomena in the absence of gravity. General relativity explains the law of gravitation and its relation to other forces of nature. It implies to the cosmological and astrophysical realm, including astronomy. The theory transformed... Stop, 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 please stop. You're making my brain hurt. Oh, sorry, Kev. Uh, do you have anything else for us today? Well, yes, I do. Today, March 14th, is Pie Day. Ooh, I like pies, especially with light flaky pastry. Mmm, yum, yum. Full of delicious filling. 8.1 for pie. Huh? What do you mean? The date today is March the 14th. March is the third month of the year, so right down to number three. Add a dot to distinguish between the month and the date, and write down the date 14. And you are left with a number which is the approximation of pi. So you're saying that 3.14 is not only today's date, but also represents the number called pi, and therefore it's called pi day. That's correct, Kev. But what does 3.14 or pi mean? Let me show you. Take a circle, any size circle. Measure the length around the outside of the circle. This measurement is called the circumference. Now measure across the circle in a straight line going through the middle of the circle. This measurement is called the diameter. Now, divide the circumference by the diameter, and the answer will always equal 3.14, and we call this ratio pi. The first calculation of pi was done by Archimedes, one of the greatest mathematicians of the ancient world, over 200 years before Jesus walked the earth. And the actual number of pi is very long indeed. In fact, some say it has no end. Here's the first 100 digits of pi. 3.14159265358973248462643382795028841971636 That's a lot of numbers to remember. Is that why we round the number to 3.14? Correct, Kev. For most practical purposes, using 3.14 works very well. You might find the pi symbol on your calculator, which will store a longer version of pi. How do I know if what you've told me is true? Well, Kev, let's test it. Have you got something round? Yes, a plate. So let's measure the circumference of the plate. It's not very easy to measure around the edge of this plate, you know. Keep trying, Kev. It's 84.5 centimetres. Now let's measure the diameter of the plate. That's easier to measure. It's 26.9 centimetres. Finally, divide the circumference by the diameter. And what is the answer? 84.5 divided by 
26.9 equals 3.14 wow that's amazing yes today March the 14th is Pi Day and that is more fact for today hey Pete what are the first digits of Pi 3.14159 well Pete what about this for an idea for Pi Day lunch we will have a round pie served on a round plate and we'll take the first bite of our pie at 1.59 p.m. You know what, Kev? Look, March the 14th at 1.59 p.m. Written down is 3.14159 and that's the first six digits of pie. That's a brilliant way to celebrate pie day. So the big question of today is what flavour pie shall we have? challenges and are you ready for this make a mobius strip give it a go get a long strip of paper and make a mobius strip see if you can draw a line all the way along it don't forget you can send your challenges to me here at jasmine's challenge Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.
working a marble roll. Um, this week you're going to need a shallow box or lid of a box. Um, actually the lid or the base of a box of chocolates will be perfect for this. Let me show you what we're going to do. In the base of my box I'm going to make some holes with a hole punch. I'm going to make, I think I'm going to make three holes. So it's one, two, three. And then what I'm going to do is add some pictures. So I'm going to draw myself um, a man and he's looking up at the balls and he's juggling like that. Now what I'm doing is I then place three marbles in there and then I gently tilt my tray on one side the other and try and get my marbles to rest in the holes. Oh this is actually quite difficult and so I'm then trying to get all of them into there's one two and oh dear not yet three And that's how to make a marble puzzle. Why not have a go at making one yourself? And if someone does have a suitable box you could use, maybe you could offer to eat all the contents and help them out. And then you can make a marble puzzle yourself. Well, George. Have you figured out what day it is today? Is it banana day? No, it's not banana day. Didn't you say that earlier? No, I didn't. Are you sure? I asked if it was eat banana day. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Anyway, now it's time for our final song, King of Love.
that's all we have time for here on Kids at 11 online this week. Okay, George, last guess. Do you know what day it is today? Is it Hanana Hike, eh? Uh, well, um, uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, did I get it right? Yes, yes, okay. Today is pie day, and I suppose you could include bananas in your pie. So, yep, yeah, you got it right. Well done, George. Um, to everyone else, what flavour pie are you going to celebrate pie day with? Let us know your favourite pie flavours. And let us know if you have a pie today at 1.59 p.m. Well, today we heard what is probably the most famous verse from the Bible. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son, and whoever believes in him shall not die, but have eternal life. Now, if you want to look this up, it's in the Bible, and it's in John 3.16. So it's in the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16. And I'll see if you can find it. And remember to have a go at Jasmine's challenge to make a Mobius strip. And um, if you have any empty crisp packets, then why not take them to St. Face Church in Lee on the Solent and join the recycling at St. Face Lee? And if you don't live in the area of St. Face Church, then there are lots of other crisp packet recycling bins around the country. Now, if you can't find one, write to us at this address and we'll try and help you locate your nearest collection point for Chris Packs. Have a great day and a great, great week, and we'll be back next Sunday. So it's goodbye from me. Say goodbye, George. Goodbye, George. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>
birthday to you. Happy birthday, 3.141592653. Very, 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 very fine, very, 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 Indeed it did.